after his physical absence in the BRICS summit which will take place in South Africa just in a few days. Let us talk about his diplomacy career. Two question rather, will Vladimir Putin come to India for G20 summit? The summit will take place in a few days in 9th and 10th of September. Will Vladimir Putin attend this G20 summit? So far, there is no confirmation about Putin's attendance. He was asked about it recently and this was his reply. I don't know yet. I have not thought about it. We will have to see. So Putin is not even sure with his answer. If Putin have to come, we'll have to face some fireworks because he's going to face his big enemies that he's been facing right now. If Putin have to come and attend this G20 summit, we'll have to face Joe Biden, Rishi Sunak, Emmanuel Macron, Olaf Scholz, so all of them in one packet face to face. We are talking about world leaders who've been fighting Russia and not single of one who have met Vladimir Putin since he invaded Ukraine. But at G20 they may have to share the stage. So come back to my question, will Putin come to this summit? Hmm. Let us look at India position first. As a host, India have to invite all the G20 members and put in he have an official invitation to attend this G20 summit. Do you know why? Because Russia is part of G20 group. But the question is, is that a general invite or is it just a courtesy? Here is what Indian government said. I don't have yet any information to share about any physical visits. Um, we would, I think, hope to see President Putin at the G20 Leaders Summit in September, but whether there's a separate visit or not, I don't have anything particular to share. The Russian President Vladimir Putin had visited eight countries since he invaded Ukraine. Let us pull up the map for you. He had visited all five Central Asian countries, the five stars as they call it. He has also visited Iran, Belarus, Selaminias. Why you have to visit all these countries? Of course, because they are good friends with Russia or they hate the West as much as Iran does. They consider US as their enemy. But India does not fit in either of these groups because India shares good relationship with America. At the same time, they're in good relationship with Russia. So it is a tough call to make. I'm sure a lot of debate is taking place behind scenes. But let us not speculate on that. Let us look at non memorables we are not treating so far. This is the second G20 summit since the war broke out. The 2022 G20 summit it was organized in Indonesia and Vladimir Putin was nowhere to be found because he was not there. Yep, Vladimir Putin did not go to that summit. Number two, Vladimir Putin will also miss the BRICS summit which will take place in South Africa in a few days to come. In other words, Putin will have to attend this BRICS summit virtually. There was a lot of debate whether Putin will be arrested in South Africa or not. You see the ICC which is the International Criminal Court, it had launched an arrest warrant against Vladimir Putin. Since South Africa had signed for this ICC charter, which means South Africa is bound to arrest Vladimir Putin if he ever step his feet inside South Africa. And we all know how this it had raised a lot of rumors from doomsayers all over around the world, especially from the Western who've been putting a lot of pressure on the ICC to arrest Vladimir Putin, though they are not part of this ICC, yet they had to impose their leadership and influence the ICC to put even more pressure on South Africa in order for them to arrest Vladimir Putin. But regardless of all these pressures that was coming from the West, the government of South Africa rejected everything and they were willing to welcome Vladimir Putin until when himself he changed his mind to not come to South Africa for the obvious reasons which we had discussed with you in our previous videos. Now as for Vladimir Putin going to India, the arrest warrant is not a problem for India. Do you know why? Because India have not signed this ICC charter. So if Putin have to go to India today, you will never gonna be arrested because this ICC law does not apply to India. Now you do understand why I've been telling you time to time that all this pressure you see the West they are putting on the ICC to push South Africa to arrest Vladimir Putin if he step in South Africa. It is because they knew already that South Africa it is the only place Vladimir Putin can be arrested. And they were putting all these pressures not because South Africa had signed the ICC Charter. 
Instead, they were putting all these pressures because they know very well that South Africa, it is a part of Africa continent countries. As they always look at Africa in the low space, as they always not have respect for Africans, as they always try to impose their leadership in Africa continent. That is how they thought that if we do this, we put much pressure on South Africa, South Africa will arrest Vladimir Putin. And they did that. We'll discuss more about that in a short, but let us continue with what I was saying. Now that it's more clear that India can't arrest Vladimir Putin, it is impossible not by any kind of magic in this world that India can arrest Vladimir Putin. The ICC does not have power over India. They did not have any kind of agreement or any kind of signature that they had signed in this ICC uh, charter. So, it is more obviously that Vladimir Putin is welcoming in India. But does that mean that Vladimir Putin is going to show up in India? I'm afraid it is as simple as that. If it was, the trip, it could have been announced. Putin will be visiting Turkey this month. That trip has been announced already by Moscow. He's also visiting China in the month of October. That trip, it also been confirmed. So, it is only the new daily visit that it is yet to be announced. What does that tell you? The issue is not about a schedule a date. Guys, the issue it is political. And on this one, a lot depends on India concerns. How will the West react if Putin turns up in India for this G20 summit? Will them boycott this summit or will them allow a joint statement? Will they even allow a civil discussion? Because we all know that these leaders, whenever they meet in this summit, they sit down, they talk, they discuss, they hold each other hand, they shake, they look the camera, they pose for the pictures. Will that be the case with Vladimir Putin if he have to attend the summit? So this will be a big disaster if Vladimir Putin have to join this summit. Let's say if Vladimir Putin attended, by the way, what are them going to discuss there? Because it is more obvious that they'll forget about the globally anger problems, everything that they're supposed to be discussing about what is happening in the world. There will be only one issue on the table that need to be discussed the conflict in Ukraine. That will be the only topic in the agenda that they would like to discuss. And that is if they want to come and not to boycott the presence of Vladimir Putin in this summit. If they have to sit on the table and discuss about the war in Ukraine in presence of Vladimir Putin with these Western leaders, of course it's going to be a serious challenge for India because India it's the one who's hosting this summit. India is the host. It is their job to make sure that they draw this one statement that all the attendants, or should I say, G20 members should have to agree with. And we all know that that would be impossible for India because India is with Russia. India, they've been sustaining in all the votes that goes against Russia about this so-called conflict in Ukraine. Now, how possible will it be that India have to draw a program which all the attendants of this G20 summit have to agree on, including the USA? Do you see yourself USA with NATO agreeing to what India will put on the table to be discussed of Indonesia? They managed to do that because there were no much pressure on Vladimir Putin besides the sanctions that he was getting here and then. In 2022, the ICC had not launch that arrest warrant against Vladimir Putin. And even if that was the case, I still don't see Vladimir Putin going to attend that summit in Indonesia. In March this year, the G20 ministers met. No joint statement which was announced. They met, they talk about their stuff, maybe about their side chicks, and no one come up with this joint statement which we were all expecting to get to see. In July, the G20 finance minister met. Again, still no joint statement which was announced. If things continue again like this in September, it will be a very big embarrassment. So, Putin knows about this. If he turn up in September for this G20 summit, the question on the table would be only one. This one question, the war in Ukraine. That will be the only question that these leaders will have to discuss. Now imagine Vladimir Putin attending this summit in India. What will happen? 
Because myself, I'm just trying to imagine what would be the look on the face of all these Western who've been fighting Putin, who've been trying to ruin out all the image of Vladimir Putin, making him look as a killer, making Russia look like a, a bad country, and cleaning up themselves as a good people. So what would be their reactions when they will have to face this man? Will they have to shake hands? Will they have to pause for the pictures that we get to see? Will they also have to invite again uh, Zelensky to come and attend again this G20 summit? Because that's what they've been doing lately. All the small meetings that NATO is having. Since they're trying to impress Zelensky, they're inviting him, they're giving him the platform to address these matters. And they're making it look if like Ukraine is the only place where there is conflict or war in this world. Can you imagine them doing the same of any African countries, which is in conflict? Do you think that can ever happen? Can it also be perhaps a good opportunity for Vladimir Putin to go ahead and attend this summit in order for him to expose all this Western with their mafias? Mm -hmm. Anything it is possible because a lot is being said already about the man called Vladimir Putin with his country. And it would be a good idea for him to go over there and face them and show them that no, I'm not afraid of you. And I have to stop this propaganda that you guys, you've been doing around the world in my name. Vladimir Putin loves traveling. Vladimir Putin loves selling his image in the international platforms. Whenever he's being invited, whether it is in the G20 or G7 or BRICS Summit, whatsoever, uh, world organizations that we get to see that is the good opportunity that each and every leaders they get to sell their image but it's been for some times now that Vladimir Putin is now escaping all this big summit that take place around the world could be that a way of uh, Vladimir Putin being dismissed from the world platforms of course that is the goal that the West US with it alliance, they've been trying all these things all this time to make sure that Vladimir Putin get perish in all platforms around the world. G20 does not benefit Vladimir Putin with Russia at all as much as BRICS does. So if Vladimir Putin can sacrifice his attendance in the BRICS summit in South Africa, do you think that he's going to meet his enemies in G20? Because that is where all of them they are seated. And if he have to announce his attendance in this G20 summit, trust me, the way I know the Western, they'll try to find another way to embarrass him by inviting the same president of Ukraine to go and sit with him to the same table. Now, is Vladimir Putin willing to go and face that kind of embarrassment? Because as I said, they're not going to have another topic on that summit. Instead, they're going to discuss only about Ukraine conflict. So we'll wait and see what will happen, but as far as I know, I don't see Vladimir Putin going anywhere anytime soon. Because this is not the right time for him to leave his country. And it is not only him who can take this kind of decision as a president. Any president in the world, they'll do the same as Vladimir Putin is doing right now with Russia. Guys, that will be all. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was very important that we get to ask ourselves this serious question about this upcoming summit that will take place in India. Whether the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, will attend it or not. And we had discussed everything with you and we had given you our point of view. Thank you so much for watching this video up to now. Don't leave without giving us your thumbs up. We really do appreciate because what we do in this channel, we educate, we engage ourselves in the different topics that is taking place around the world and we are more focused in what is happening in Africa. If you don't want to miss any of our videos, very simple, hit that subscribe button right now so that whenever we upload a new video, obviously you will get a notification. And guys, this is a conversation we are having time to time and you need to also give your point of view on what we are discussing through the comment because we do have look on it and we do also get to benefit a lot from your point of view. That will be all for today. For now, continue to be yourself, be good, be kind, have respect for everyone in order for you to be respected. May God bless you all. I'll see you again very soon. Ciao, ciao.